Okay, so what we're going to look at here is getting data out of QBO online and into a zero ledger so you can run financial statements for a customer that is on QBO. Okay, first thing we want to do is quickly look at what a ledger actually is. This won't take long. Let's go in here and quickly set one up. Now you have to be a zero partner to um, have access to what they call ledgers. Now ledgers are for, so you've got a partner only plans, ledgers are for firms that use zero for all their customers financial statements. Okay, building details. Okay, I'm going to quickly move through the setup wizard. Let's just get to the end. Skip. Okay, the new UI. Okay, so we're going to import a good chart. I've got a master chart because I am an accounting firm. And I have a good master chart. And I'm going to import that for my new ledger. Okay, we're at the end of the setup wizard and done. Okay, so. This is a ledger. Now just a reminder, a ledger, you can set up a bank account. You just can't connect it to online banking and feed in data. Okay, but the good thing is you can import data into the bank account. All right, so that's one import option. The second import option, which we're going to look at now, is using manual journals. So if you go to import, we've now got a CSV template. Let's download this. Anyway, okay, so now a bit of a secret. The asterisk columns are mandatory. You must have data in the asterisk columns. Um, unfortunately, there's no asterisk next to there, but it is mandatory. All right, so these ones need to be completed. Now I'm just gonna delete those because I'm not gonna track anything. You can look at that later. Now what I wanna bring in is 30 June 18 stuff. Let's drag a little bit down there. And the narration is gonna be the same. Paste. Okay, I just want you to get an idea of the type of work we need to do here. Now, it's going to be BAS excluded because we're bringing in net amounts. Okay, so what we've ended up with here is two column, three columns that need completing oil. So we've got three columns left now. Now these columns we need to populate with data from QBO. All right, so if you think about it, think about what type of reports you think we'll need. We're gonna need, you know, the profit and loss figures for the period. And we're gonna need the balance sheet movement. So let's jump into QBO and grab some reports. QBO. All right, so I'm a member of a QBO accounting practice. Going to go to a client. Okay, so now I'm in a client. See the dashboard, bits and pieces everywhere. What I want is I want data. Reports. That goes to management reports. What I want to go over to is accountant reports. And there's two reports I'm going to pull out for this example. First one is the balance sheet comparison. Okay, so now we've got our balance sheet with the comparison. But what I want to do is I want to do 30 June folding to last month, so I'm just going to do a quick custom date range, make it easy, yeah, 
to boom, 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 and do, 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 boom. Periods, previous period. Change, change. Run report. Okay, so there was no balances there. Okay, so this is a new setup, a new QBO. Otherwise, we did comparative data. All right, so what we can do here is we can bring that out to Microsoft Excel. I want to run back on accountant reports, so we're going to run the P and L. Run 2018 year. Okay, so we're going to go for this financial year. Run report. Okay, so here's all the info. Now I want to bring that out to Excel as well. So I've got my exported profit and loss here service income and a few expense accounts for the year so it's the expense accounts and the sir it's all the accounts that I want to bring in I don't care about the formulas okay now I could just I could just type this in in a manual journal no problem I could just type away I could just open the screen and copy paste the amounts I'll probably get it done just as fast but let's imagine you have exported a chart that's massive that's you know there's 150 expense accounts for example do you really want to be typing that type of information in? The answer is probably not, so you could do it this way. First thing we want to do is we don't want the formulas. Just get rid of them. We just want those accounts. Okay, keeping it simple, I'm going to copy, copy, my import template. Now, I'll paste it here like this, but what you'll notice is that's wrong, so it needs to come across to the other side. Paste. Okay, I'm gonna make that red, make that red, so it stands out. All right. Stay with me, stay with me. Okay, so we've now got the account name in the description and we've got the amount over here. Now we're not done yet, okay, next step, so save that, is to go back and open up the balance sheet comparison. Now there's no change because they weren't trading last year, okay, um, so actually all that is kind of irrelevant, so I'm just gonna delete it, okay, but the thing is if I just go back, we would have had to capture the movement if there was balances. So if there was, let's say, a balance there, we need to capture this column as the movement. Okay, there is no movement because there is no balance. Delete. Okay, once again, we need to capture all the accounts. So you can see all the accounts. Bold is obviously a formula. So let's get rid of everything that's bold. Delete. Delete. Okay, all good. All good. All right, so what's next? Okay, we'll just copy and paste that as well. Okay, and just get you over here. Red, and make you red. Okay, so we've got uh, a few rows of stuff. Now I just want to tidy this up, so I'm going to drag that down. Drag those down. Okay, give it some color. Okay, so the key here is let's work on this column as the main one. We need to make sure these amounts are credit. Credits need to be negative, and debits need to be positive. Okay, so this one here needs a negative in front of it. All right, now what I'll need down the bottom is a checksum. Okay, we have a problem, Houston. Bigger. 
Okay, so the report's pulled it out a little bit off tilt. Okay, so that's good. These expenses, they're all good. Expenses, expenses, they're all debits, debits. That's a debit balance. That's a debit balance. It's another debit balance. Uh, that's, sorry, that's credit. So that's supposed to be a debit because that came out of the balance sheet. That's a credit. Balance sheet. actually a debit balance sheet it's a debit it's also a debit and the net income with that there we go all right so we've got our match. So the key is the account code. Now for a chart this small, for a chart this small, um, let's just put it all to, all to suspense. Okay, so if I go into my zero file, what is the suspense account number, chart, suspense, 870. All right. All good. Okay, we have our data. Okay, everything's balanced up. Okay, so now we're ready to import. We to advisor, manual journal. Import, and let's pick that up. Manual journal, and import. One draft journal will be imported. Very good. Okay, so it's sitting on the draft tab. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so from here, what do we have to do? Find the right accounts. All right, so here we go, we've got our stuff. Now I want no tax on that, thank you. All mass excluded. Okay, so we've got it in and we post. Okay, so now we've got <coughs> the ability to run Financial statements. All right, this is this is our this is our income. And we can publish. Okay, so that was example one of getting that data into a zero ledger.